What's up guys? Welcome back to episode 3 of the Ultimate Tech Vlog. Now today's video is all about screen time on your phones, your gadgets, PC, your Apple, your iMac, but today really is more about the phone aspect of it and I'm concerned about screen time and I'm trying to figure this out how to lessen my screen time on my phone. And I'm trying to be healthier with it, and I know that this is prevalent for everybody, not just for myself, I'm sure for you as well. We did a poll about four or five weeks ago where I asked you how much time you spend on your phone. And you guys were pretty honest about it. I was pretty surprised that most of you said more than eight hours a day. And I think the last uh, answer at the bottom was like, more than I want to admit which probably means more than eight hours a day. It's embarrassing. It's probably what I put there, something like that. And that's exactly what I put. That's where I marked my answer, more than eight hours. Super embarrassing. Um, what do we do about this? We are attached to these phones like it's an extension of our hand. It's ridiculous. We go out and we're on these phones and we never, they never leave our, our side. We panic when we don't even have the phone. He's like, where's our phone at? Wake up in the morning, the first thing you do is you go to your phone before you brush your teeth or comb your hair or do anything. Before you say good morning to your, your wife or your, your husband or your kids. It's, a, it's an addiction, full blown. I remember, I remember 15 years ago, I was bartending. I saw these girls, like five girls come up to a cocktail table at a bar and sat down. And they sat down without speaking or looking at each other and began texting. And this lasted a good five minutes or more before they got their drinks. And even when they got their drinks, they, they kept texting. They talked a little bit. But the first five minutes, there was not any interaction. And I thought to myself, why would you go out and not interact with each other? What's the point of actually being out together if you're not going to interact? Eye to eye, face to face, laugh, have fun, talk. What, what was the point of that? And uh, I didn't realize it was going to get a lot worse. And now it's full-blown an epidemic. You go out now to an event, whether it's a birthday party, anniversary, football game, basketball game, wherever you go, the event is secondary and the phone is primary. You understand? Like people are like, well, hey, what's the Wi-Fi password here? You know, they go over to Tommy's house to for a birthday party. What's the Wi-Fi password? They get on and man, they're just they're on the phone and there's a birthday party going on, but everybody else is somewhere else on their phone. It's become an epidemic. It's all, it's embarrassing, but it's not because it's so normalized that no one even notices. It'd be different if we went to a party and a couple of people at the party were on their phones the whole time and everyone else having fun. I'm like, hey, what's going on with those two over there? Why are they on their phones? They're not even enjoying the party. The problem is everybody's doing it now, so it's all normalized. No one's calling anybody out on it because they're all doing it. So what do we do? How do we... How do we fix this? This is a big issue and I'm just as guilty so I'm not trying to throw stones because I'm guilty. I'm asking you guys to help me. What do, what do I do? What do you do? How do we fix this? How do we make it better for ourselves? You know, do I leave the phone at home when I go for a walk? I think I would do that. I, just, I need to start doing that when I go for a walk with my son and my wife. I want to leave the phone at home. It's not that important to have that phone. And people go, wait, well, you can't, you need to have this emergency. You need to be, you know, you need to be able to answer that phone or answer that text. This could be an emergency. No. No, I don't believe that now. Looking at this, I'm thinking, you can go for a 20-minute walk and come back. The world is not going to end in 20 minutes. Nothing will happen in 20 minutes that's so important that if you went for that walk with your family, had good times talking and laughing and joking and smiling, that's more priceless. That's, that's exactly what life's all about. And I've got to give back that to myself. I've got to. And this video is about that. I want. I know it's touchy. I know it's hard to talk about. But what do we do about it? Tell me down below in the, in the comments. I want to know what your solutions are. I'm curious because I don't know what to do. Do I put a timer on for the morning, give myself one hour? Or do I wake up first in the morning, have breakfast, talk to my family, and then I have an hour from like 10 to 11, break away till maybe 3 o'clock, and you know, maybe at night have a little bit of time. But do all dinners, should we put our phones away for all, the, when we go to dinner, when we have dinner at home, just put the phones away. Is that good? Is that good? I think that would help. I, I don't know. I'm at a loss. But guys, down below, please leave your comments and suggestions and your solutions. I want to hear. If you've got solutions, man, I want to hear it. I really appreciate it, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.